Keep your distance. A message from Vision Care for a safer tomorrow. Commander of the Navy Vice Admiral Pial de Silva says that steps have been taken to strengthen the safety of Sri Lanka's maritime boundaries following the increase of COVID-19 infections in India. He added that the Navy has received the assistance of the Sri Lanka Air Force as well in this endeavor. Meanwhile, health authorities took measures to cremate the remains of a person who died while being treated at the Karapitiya Hospital in accordance with the international quarantine regulations. His final rites were performed at the crematorium at the Dadella Cemetery. The son of the deceased was a recent arrival from South Korea and had contracted COVID-19. Not being aware of his infection, the son had spent two days at the Karapitiya Teaching Hospital taking care of his father. However, according to the investigation conducted, the deceased had not been infected with COVID-19. Meanwhile, a resident of Katupata in Kurunagala had admitted himself to the Kurunagala Teaching Hospital yesterday, who had exhibited symptoms of COVID-19. Accordingly, he was transferred to the hospital's special unit designated for suspected COVID-19 patients. The hospital director said that the emergency treatment unit in which the patient in question was initially treated was disinfected and reopened after being temporarily shut. 39 members of the hospital staff who came into contact with the relevant doctors have also been removed from duty. Later, however, the results of the patient's phlegm samples returned with him being COVID-19 negative. Meanwhile, 65 people who took cover in Al Qasim city and Palavir in Putlam has been directed to the quarantine facility in Punani as they came into contact with a COVID-19 infected residing at a housing complex at the Al Qasim city. Information was uncovered that they had been to a funeral in Tarapuram of Mana along with a COVID-19 infected person. Two residences in Tarapuram were checked by health authorities today for having direct contact with the infected person. Their houses were also subjected to disinfection. <laughs> in Mali murder of Mathur, seven people, including a member of the clergy, was directed to a quarantine facility by health authorities today after having arrived from Anuradhapura without a curfew permit. The vehicle they arrived in and a three-wheeler which was parked at the house were also seized by police. Elsewhere, the 19th section of the Akkare Patu was isolated with the detection of a COVID-19 patient. 320 families residing in the area were made to self-quarantine by health authorities. Members of eight families along with the driver and his assistant who gave transportation to the COVID-19 patient from Akkare Patu were directed to the quarantine facility in Damminna for coming into contact with the infected. Meanwhile, measures were taken to quarantine a person who concealed that he is an arrival from Indonesia after taking part in a religious ceremony. The resident of Haliala was directed to the quarantine facility in Dietalava along with his wife. In the meantime, the wife of the gem businessman from Ratnapura returned home today after making a complete recovery from the virus. She was also given police protection. Her husband, mother-in-law and the two children continue to receive treatment for COVID-19. <laughs> Meanwhile, five more COVID-19 patients were discharged from hospitals today, sending Sri Lanka's number of recoveries past the landmark 50. As things stand, 54 patients have made full recoveries, boosting the country's rate of recovery to 28.4. With no fresh cases being reported during the day, Sri Lanka's total number of cases stand at 190. From that figure, 134 are active cases. In addition, 224 people are currently under medical observation with symptoms of COVID-19. Leave Ayush, Karabu Neti Dantale Paya, Shakti Mat Dati Palakata.